Now we move on to the fourth and final step. With the information concerning the expected F1 genotype frequencies, we finally can determine the expected F1 phenotype frequencies. So our first step is to determine the phenotype for each genotype. Big T, big T, well T is dominant, and this person is homozygous for T, so they're definitely going to be tall. Big V, big V, violet is dominant, and they're homozygous, so they're definitely going to be violet, so they'll be tall and violet. Go down to the second one. Big T, big T, that's also tall. Big V, little V. So we've got a violet and a white, but violet is dominant, so it will be violet. So we have tall and violet again. Go down to this one, big T, little T. Well, big T is dominant, and that's for tall, so the dwarf is recessive, so it will be tall, and then obviously violet, so that's tall and violet. Big T, little T, big V, little V. Well, again, the dominants prevail. T, big T for tall is dominant, big V for violet is dominant, so the offspring will be tall and violent, the uh, phenotype. Big, and we continue on down, big T, big T, little V, little V. Well, big T is dominant, so it will be tall. Now we have a homozygous recessive, so this individual will actually be white, white flowers for that pea plant. And we go on down, this T dominates over the T, so it's tall, but it's homozygous recessive for the white, for the uh, flower color, so it would be white. Here it's the opposite, homozygous recessive for the uh, height, which would make it a dwarf, the little t's are recessive, but both alleles are little t, so you got dwarf and violet, and we continue down till we have all of these done. Now we have the unique genotypes, their counts, their gen genotype frequencies, and then the phenotype for each one. Finally, for each phenotype, we're going to sum all of its fractions in order to obtain the phenotype frequencies. So all these are tall and violet. So what we did was just divide these phenotypes up into lines. These all group together, these two group together, these two group together, that one's by itself. So for these four, we're going to have tall and violet. Now all we do is add up their fractions. 1 16th plus 2 16th plus 2 16th plus 4 16th, well that's 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 sixteenths will be tall and violet, are expected to be tall and violet. These are expected frequencies, not actual frequencies. Okay, then we're going to move down to the next group, tall and white. These are all tall and white. Well, how many? 1 16th plus 2 16th equals 3 16th. Move down to the next group. All of them in this group are dwarf and violet. Okay, add up their genotype frequencies, which are now also phenotype frequencies, but we add them together, we get 3 16th. And then the last one is by itself, it's 1 16th. So here are our phenotype frequencies. Tall and violet, we expect 9 sixteenths of them to be tall and violet. We expect 3 sixteenths of the offspring to be tall and white. We expect 3 sixteenths of the offspring to be dwarf and violet. And we expect 1 sixteenth of the offspring to be dwarf and white. So we're done. Notice one thing though. Notice the, not, the expected 9, 3, 3, 1 ratio. That's a Mendelian ratio for a dihybrid cross. When you do a dihybrid cross, for traits that are not linked and the parents are heterozygous for both traits, both parents are heterozygous for both traits, you should get a 9331 ratio. So this meets all those criteria. First of all, we're doing a dihybrid cross. A monohybrid cross has a different ratio, typically 3 to 1. So we're doing a dihybrid cross. That's the first condition. Um, we're assuming that these traits aren't linked, and in fact, in pea plants, they're not linked. There's no linkage involved in in the uh, genes, but typically when you solve dihybrid crosses, you already assume that there's no linkage, and in a lot of classes, you haven't even gotten to the idea of linkage yet. Okay, so we've got a dihybrid cross, we've got no linkage between the genes, and both parents are heterozygous for both traits, so we should get a 9331 ratio.